which are the main system that compound a parabolic trough plan. In this video, we will see which are the, this main system and which are the elements that compound uh, each one. First of all, uh, I want that we see an overview of all the system involved in the production of electricity from the solar radiation using the parabolic trough technology. Uh, we can divide this system in main system and auxiliary system. Which are the main system? Uh, well, we have uh, some elements that we need, uh, like the para uh, perimeter fence, uh, vials and plot. After that, we have the solar field, where the, the biggest part, the biggest system in the plan, uh, maybe the most important part of, the, of a parabolic trough plan. Uh, after that, we need the uh, HTF system, the heat transfer fluid system, to transport the, the heat from the solar field to the power block, the steam generation train to transform the heat uh, contained in the uh, HTF into the potential energy, uh, transforming water in steam and some pressure and some uh, temperature. Uh, we have, in some of the plants, we have the thermal storage system. Not every plant in the world has a thermal storage system, but in this moment we consider that it's necessary to have uh, this system, because if not, uh, this plant maybe has some problem uh, some financial problems and a, a technical problem related with the uh, um, uh, capability to storage energy and put in the net the, the energy when uh, we need. Uh, we have the water steam cycle that connect the uh, steam generation train with the steam turbine. We have the, the turbo group composed by the steam turbine and the generator. We have the uh, electrical system, the high voltage system, the medium voltage system, and the low voltage system. We have the control system and the buildings. Maybe these are the main system, the main element that compose one PT plan. Uh, but we need some auxiliary system, call it normally BOP, balance of plan uh, system. Uh, there are uh, several systems. The first uh, of them is a water treatment plan produce water with some quality. We have an effluent treatment plant. Uh, we have the, the water connection. We have the main cooling system, the, uh, the closed cooling system to cool uh, all the equipment. Uh, in some of the plant, we have a gas station or uh, well, all the system that uh, provide uh, auxiliary fuel. It's not allowed in all the plants, uh, only on some of them. Uh, we have the compressed air system, and finally we have the fire protection system. As we can see in this slide, the solar field is the biggest part of our PT plan. Uh, here we can see in this slide that uh, for a plan with 50 megawatts with uh, thermal storage, more or less eight hours of thermal storage, we need a surface around uh, 1,300 meters by 105, uh, 1,500 meters. Then the, the is, is a very big space, around 200 hectares. In the center of them, of that, of the, this land, we have the uh, the power block, and here we have the different loops that compose the solar field. Uh, in this solar field, we have pipes, the the main pipes the header that uh, do the connection between the solar field and the power block, uh, transporting, conducting the uh, oil, the thermal oil that we need to transport the energy capturated in the solar field and uh, to transport this uh, capturated energy to the power block. Uh, our big pipes are long pipes, but uh, the, the, uh, all the solar field then is composed by loops, the different loops, and um, the pipes that uh, has part of the HTF system. Uh, inside of the power block, 
we have different areas, the water steam cycle area, the, st the steam turbine area, the BOP area, the HTF area, each one uh, has all the equipment uh, that compound each one of these systems. The HTF system is all is composed but all the equipment that we need to pump to increase the pressure to uh, to storage and to manage uh, the HTF the heat transfer fluid what we need we need uh, uh, some pumps to increase the pressure from the uh, inlet pressure to the outlet pressure normally around 10 bar and uh, 30 bar uh, this part represent the solar field and the, the exit of the solar field goes directly to the uh, steam generation train. The steam generation train, uh, as uh, we will see, is composed by four elements. Normally it's composed by four elements, superheater, evaporator, economizer and reheater. Uh, this uh, steam generation train uh, could be one unit or could be two or more units. After that, we have the, the expansion uh, tanks to allow that the oil can be expanded when, when the oil increases the, 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 the temperature. We have a system, this all the system is a system to clean the HTF, to depuriate the, the HTF, because the, the HTF is degraded when, in, uh, when it's uh, running around the solar field and uh, around uh, all uh, parts is a degradating producing uh, some products that we need to take out. The system that uh, take out all these elements that we don't want is the degradation uh, system and uh, is called in some part a uh, ULH system. In this uh, slide we can see what, which are the main subsystems that compose the HTF main pumps, auxiliary pumps, expansion tank, ULH system, auxiliary boiler, because uh, sometimes it's necessary to put in the oil some uh, energy in order to avoid freezing problem. The steam generation train is composed by, normally, is composed by four elements, uh, the preheater, evaporator, superheater, and reheater. Uh, the water goes in one direction, and the oil goes the uh, opposite direction. There are uh, several types on, uh, of a steam generation train. We have seen in this uh, slide one type. This uh, the the, uh, the evaporator is the, the, the difference, the element that has the, the difference. The evaporator could be uh, one type, or could be like this one uh, kettle type. The water steam cycle is the most conventional part of one uh, PT plant or one uh, parabolic trap plant. Uh, the only difference is the exchanger. Maybe in other thermal uh, power plant, uh, this part is a, a boiler or maybe a turbine, a gas turbine, etc. Here we have a changer. This exchanger, as we have seen, uh, is economizer, evaporator, superheater, and reheater. In this case, in this schema, we can see that this system is doubled. Uh, which are the, the other elements? Starting from the condenser, the element that compose the water steam cycle uh, are the, the condenser. After the condenser, we have a pump, call it a extraction pump or condensing pump. The pump uh, impulse the fluid, pump the fluid, increase the pressure in the fluid to cross around this uh, changer, the preheater, that increases the temperature from the temperature that we have in the uh, uh, in the condenser to the uh, uh, temperature that we have here in the degasifier of feed water tank. Uh, in the feed water tank, we accumulate uh, some water. We uh, has uh, some uh, some pressure here. In, in form of potential energy and uh, in order to avoid problems with the cavitation in the pump uh, this feed water tank is uh, some high. Uh, we have the pump 
This pump is very important in the system. This is the, the, the feed water pump. Increase the pressure a lot. Increase the pressure from more or less 4, 5, 6 bar till 100 bar or more. And uh, pump the, the water, is water, what we have here. Pump the water to cross the preheater. The pump increases the pressure in order to avoid the loss of pressure that we have here crossing the HP, HP preheater, the high uh, pressure preheater. And uh, increasing the temperature here, we go directly to the uh, economizer. The, here we need to close the economizer, the uh, evaporator, the superheater, and here for this line we go to the steam turbine. Before uh, to achieve the steam turbine, we have the uh, bypass valve and we have some uh, a filter and the regulation valve in the entrance of the turbine. Uh, the exit of the HP turbine goes to this line and is uh, direct to the uh, reheater. In the reheater, the pressure is maintained, more or less, but the temperature increases. And then the steam goes directly to the uh, low pressure turbine. Uh, in the low pressure turbine, before achieve the, the low pressure turbine, we have the same schema that in the high pressure turbine. We have a bypass valve and we have a filter and a regulation valve. The exit of the low pressure turbine goes uh, to the condenser. The steam turbine system is composed by four elements. The first one is the HP turbine, high pressure turbine. The second one is a gear. This gear is um, responsible to reduce the speed of this HP turbine. Uh, we have a LP turbine, a low pressure turbine, uh, connected to a generator. Then the generator uh, has the, the power that transmit the low pressure turbine plus the power that transmit the high pressure turbine. Uh, it's a good question to ask you why we need two uh, turbines. There is a reason and this reason is not efficiency. The reason is related with a technical problem. In other video we will see which is this technical problem. The next important system is the electric system. The electric system is divided in three systems, the high voltage system, the medium voltage system, and the low voltage system. The high voltage system, the generator is connected uh, to the transformer through a switch. Uh, this is the main switch. And uh, the, the, this transform the energy, the voltage that received from the generator in two ways. One of them is to export the energy, and for that reason we need a, a transformer. It is the main transformer, and uh, after that this uh, main transformer connect uh, to the line with some elements, some switch, and uh, other elements that we need to connect the transformer with the net. At the same time, we connect with other transformer that uh, provide uh, auxiliary energy for pumps, for ventilator, for motor, etc that we have as consumer in the plant. Uh, this part that goes from the main transformer to the line is called the high voltage system. This part that uh, allow that all the, the, the consumer are connected, are uh, feeding with electrical energy, uh, is the medium voltage system. And finally, uh, after that, some element uh, that we need to uh, feed with, um, uh, with low voltage, uh, we have a, a system called the low voltage system to allow that uh, this uh, supply, this power supply goes to all the consumers. Our PT plant consumes water. Uh, this water comes from some source, some river or the sea or uh, other part, uh, but it has not enough quality uh, to our consumer. Uh, we need to adequate this quality and for that reason we have a water treatment plant. The next important auxiliary system that we have in, the, in our power plant is the main cooling water. The main cooling water uh, allows that all the energy 
that we don't want, that we, don't, uh, we are not able to convert in electrical energy, is necessary to transport this energy to the atmosphere. For that reason, we have uh, this circuit, this system, uh, and capture the energy, the waste energy, the energy that uh, is not possible to, to, uh, to have something uh, with uh, this energy, and uh, put this energy in the atmosphere normally with a cooling tower, but there are other possibilities like uh, aero condenser or directly in an open circuit in the right. The closed cooling water serves to refrigerate some special equipment like generator, like uh, lubrication system, vacuum pumps, uh, com uh, air compressor, air dryer, etc. All these elements uh, we need to cool because they consume more energy than they use. Then uh, there is a special circuit that finally goes to the cooling tower, but uh, there is a special circuit to cool all, all uh, this equipment. The wastewater system is the system that uh, recovery all the wastewater that we have in some points and put this water in a safe way in the environment. Finally, the 515 system is an important system in the power plant is in order to uh, fight against a possible fire. Remember that the HTF is a fuel and then uh, there are some possibilities to have uh, problems or how to have some fire in some part of the plant. We have seen in this video which are the main uh, system that propone one parabolic plant for a uh, solar city project Santiago. Garcia.